back to our channel thank you for uh, stopping in and sharing a little bit of time your time with us yeah, I hope you like our channel uh, it is family treasures we are uh, you know family is the true treasure and so we're just trying to get all our family we got seven little treasures one little treasure on the way grandchildren and so anyway we uh, just kind of update if you watched our previous video I kind of explained that in our very first video this is our second video anyway I bought two detectors and I bought another one the other day for the next one growing up or coming up the line and so you know we're trying to get all of them out and doing things something that they can look back and we can find treasure together but spend uh, treasure time together if you know what I mean and so we're kind of doing this for posterity, record our things, get the children excited about seeing their self, like I said, on uh, TV, YouTube, things like that. But anyway, that's kind of where we're at, and I want to give you an update on that. And then also just let you know a little bit about the video. Started out uh, going through some empty lots in our town. We can do that and uh, just do some curb strips. Seems like a lot of detectors kind of skip over that because of the trash. But anyway, that's where we started out. Uh, then moved on to another place and ended up at an old school. They're on the sand burn fire maps. Uh, but it's one of the oldest schools in town. And so anyway, got permission to do uh, around that school. And so anyway, that's kind of how it ended up. But it's two days. Again, if I didn't say that already. And uh, found a couple really nice things. Also, just want to let you know, I, I, I found a... Um, thimble in this video uh it's in the video i don't but it's not in the wrap-up i don't know what happened to it i got it still uh but somehow it didn't end up in the wrap-up i'll put a little still in there of it hopefully you can take a look at it but if you like our channel i hope that you'll come back like subscribe share all that good stuff hit the notification button we're just kind of releasing a video maybe every two three four weeks for you know maybe once a month i don't know but anyway the whole goal is to kind of get more of the family out and i want to buy all all the ones that are really interested in uh going a nice detector and just spend time with family together again like i said uh you know that's the true treasure we can find things but we're just going to record this stuff for posterity and for the uh, the grandchildren that you know down the line some night uh, i hope that they'll look back and and just look back with uh, fond memories of time spent together and uh, things you know that they found and, and so forth and so on so all right well enjoy the video have a great day or night whatever time you're watching it. Bye. all right folks we're at our first good signal we did the curve strip nothing really uh, well just all junk got something pretty decent signal in here small it could be dime quarter size Let's see what it is here Got. that's it but I don't know what it is it's round it's ringing high in the 80s and just an old bottle top excuse me all right see you next hole hopefully it's better than right, this folks, we moved on we're at another little curve strip right here I did that one over there and right down past this building here you can see a darker building I did a curve strip down there and found an IHP but uh, this is a old military park used to be a trading lot back in the day where folks would come together and like a open air market but they turned into a little veterans park I've hunted up in there but there is gazillions of 
shells where they have done, you know, like honorary veteran service parades and, you know, honoring veterans and they've shot the, I guess, 21 gun salute or something. But anyway, there is just full of the shells. They didn't pick up their shells. But anyway, I'm going to try this little curb strip right here beside this old park and see how I do. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, I guess you could tell the other one didn't pan out. It's cold, cold. So I don't know how long I can take it, but uh, didn't find anything over there. And uh, that's all really trashy. I like trying to find somewhere where you know, it hasn't been moved. The earth hasn't been moved for a long time, and so that's kind of hard to do. But we're going to try it here, see how we do. We'll catch you on the signal, or the good signals, right? Yeah, come on. Cheer for me. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Okay, enough of that. Let's see how we do, okay? All right, thanks for watching, I had by a good way. signal on this hole. It was like a steady 84, and uh, of course, you're going to dig that, but it's out. It's right there. I don't know what it is. We're going to find out together. Kind of shape funny. Just a piece of lead, I think. Well, <laughs> on to the next hole. Hope we find something better than that. I don't know really what that is. I think, well, it's not real heavy like lead either. It's something else. All right, we'll clean it up later. Maybe we'll see something on it, but not now. It's too cold. Catch you at the next hole. Hopefully, it's better. Huh? Come on now. Right? Okay. Well, folks, that uh, curb strip here by the uh, old Veterans Park here was a bust. I found out that uh, it was filled in. It's all been filled in for some reason. I don't know if they did work or something, but I got to thinking, if you see this new strip of concrete, probably did all that same time. But, you know, when you find a modern aluminum can about... 12 inches down and then something's not right and a bunch of rock in between all that so I'm pretty sure it's filled so we're going to try one more place before we give up today and uh, it's kind of saving it but it's uh, the oldest school in town I'll show you when we get well, there well folks that is it that is one, the first school I do believe in our town it's amazing it's still standing uh, it may have been another school on it you know and they build another one on top, I don't know, or add it on. But anyway, uh, I mean, that's on the fire map charts, whatever they are, way back early 1800s. It's the county school board office now. I said that I found an Indian out front in the curb strip, but I got permission to do the side and the back, and can't really do the front. They said they put some kind of wire down or some antenna wire or something, I don't know, but... Anyway, hopefully later on I can do all of it, but uh, right now I can't. But I can do the back and the side here and this little curb strip here, see how we do. All right. Hopefully, you know, I'll have something good to show you. I haven't had nothing to show you today, that's for sure. All right. Catch you at the hole. There's a good hole, right? <laughs> all right, folks. <clears throat> We're at that school I mentioned. Got my first good target. You see it right there. Some chains. Some kind of coin. Oh, it's a nickel. Old Jeffersonian. Bring it up a lot higher. That's a good nickel. Nope, I don't think so. Just an old nickel. Well, it must be something else in my hole. Come on, check it and I'll get back with you, okay? At least we got something though, huh? Can't see a date. Maybe folks can, but I can't right now. I got my glasses on. All right, catch you on the next hole. All right, folks. Folks back at school. I got my next target. I didn't think it was anything, so I didn't pull the camera out first because I done handled it. But it's part of a thimble. First ever. Never have found a thimble before. You can see it's all smashed together. But anyway, pretty cool. All right, folks, we're back going. out to school still. Got another signal here. Bro, bro. It just fell out when I hit it with the. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Nope. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Hit it with the pinpointer. Just a memorial. All right, catch All right, you folks, next signal. Back on the next hole. Got some kind of penny, but I don't know if it's a weed here, memorial, or what. We're going to check it out together. Weedy. 
I can see the one cent right there. I don't know if you can or not. It's like these videos when you're trying to see it and you're moving your head back and forth because they are doing that too and trying to focus. <laughs> yeah. I do it all the time watching the Hoover boys. It's a weedy though, I'm pretty sure. I'm for sure, sure. I'm for sure, for sure, for sure. See it? Okay, I'll get you a date later on the wrap up. Can't see it good enough to tell you anyway most of the time. Okay, bye. Right, folks, at the next hole. And I thought we would look at this one together. It's kind of weedy. Um, on the simplex, it's kind of weedy Indian head uh, range on the VDI. So I thought we would look at it together. It's in this. I already checked. It's already in a plug here. Okay. Oh, there it is. Just neither. <laughs> Modern. All right. Get you on the next one. Bye. All right, folks. We're back at school. There's something right there. Looks like it could be either a memorial or a weedy. Let's see. Here, memorial. Catch you the next one. All right, folks. Back at it. The school here. Got another weedy. That check date and clean it up when I get home, okay? All right, gonna get you another one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back at the school today. I got my first good uh, target here in this hole somewhere, but anyway, we're gonna try to figure it. I think I got my plug here, actually. <clears throat> there it is. Ooh, silver. Well, oh, what we got there? Ooh, looky there, folks. Cool. That's silver, I bet. That looks silver. Silver cross. That is pretty. Get it in the frame. Man, that is pretty. That's silver. That's got to be silver. Oh, cool. All right, I'm going to look at it, and then I'll... Maybe on the next video, or the next target. I don't know, can you all see some markings? That's got to be silver, though. Let me see if I can zoom in and see if I... I don't got my glass. I don't wear my glasses. They always fall down on my face. So, you bother me more and help me more, most of the time. But, man, that's got to be silver. <laughs> all right, thanks, thanks for watching, folks. Hope we find some more stuff like that today. That's a good good start. That's my really, my really first decent signal. All right, thanks again. Cool. On to the next right, hole. Folks, uh, at the next good target at the school i got it kind of marked with a couple stabs of my shovel but i'm gonna go over it with the got good vdis but i'm concerned about it being a little bit bigger it feels like seems like it takes a little bit longer swing well let's just dig this one together Check that hole. Still 77 on the simplex. Get that out of my mouth. It rides down all the time. Oh, let me get this over here so I can have some help. Yeah, it's not, oh, there it is, another dime. It's gonna be another Claddy. Claddy Roosevelt. Let me see if I can get a date see I was a 67 last time 1967 three years away find it man I can't see <laughs> sorry folks I can't see that one I don't know if they turn maybe I don't have my spectacles on and I can't see nothing save my life oh let me stand up and get up figures I dropped it I had it last time where I could see it. Got it. Doggone it. Oh, I can't see that one, folks. Oh, wait a minute. 
I'm sure you folks can. Looks like it's 1978. All right. Let's go to the next one. I've got a little hot area. It's just a little bitty area. You can see that. It's down the alley. Just this little bitty area. I found two dimes and the uh, silver cross in this area. I haven't made it very far. I've only really done this little uh, area right here. So, uh, <laughs> doesn't make you dizzy. All right, on the next good signal. Hopefully it's more silver or something better than clad, huh? All right. Folks, I had to get this on video. This is a first for me. That's a gigantic safety pin. <laughs> it's it's brass. So pretty cool, but wasn't expecting that. Wonder why I had a hard time figuring out where it was. Pin I had a hard time pinpointing it. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't resist getting that on video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next good, hopefully silver gold. The Saxon Horde target. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Alright folks, we are back. If you can see that down in that hole right there. See that there? It's really thin. I don't know if it's gonna be any kind of it's about five inches. Let's get it. Uh, what is it? It's a copper pop out of some kind. That's what it looks like. Oh well, we tried. <laughs> All right, get your next hole. All right, folks, back on my next decent hole. I found a couple parts of things, some clad. I did find a couple wheats I put on camera, but I thought, well, we'll put this on. It sounds good. It sounded like, what? It sounded like silver. What was that? Oh, that's a necklace top, like the Pontiac thing. I don't know what it says. Huh. I wonder if that's silver, because it rang up awful high. I doubt it, though. Maybe silver plated. Huh. I can't see what that is. Does it say Hong Kong? Hong Kong! <laughs> Hong Kong. I don't know what it is though. Is it a Pontiac symbol? That's what it reminds me of. I don't know. Can you see it and make it out? Ha! Huh. Well, I had to do some research on that. I can't even. It looks like it says Pontiac. <laughs> All right. It rang high like silver. Plus, probably aluminum is light. All right, catch you on the next one. That's something different. Uh-oh, I think I cut it off here. All right, we're going to get back to the wrap-up. Uh, this is all, I think, all my memorials and clay, or uh, zinkers out there I found in the hole. I thought it was a pretty cool. A piece of plastic. I don't know what this is. Looks like part of a Swiss Army, but it's kind of small, a little bitty. I mean, that's a fork. And then the, I don't know what the rest of that stuff is. Anybody got an idea, please give me a shout out in the comments this here is a pretty cool i don't know what it is it's a piece of copper or something looks like it has a it was a you know hollow i don't know what that was all right and then here is my clad all 90s all two modern nickels 60s 70s 80s 90s and then uh two wheats 1940, 1944. That one had a kind of a cool patina. Both of them do, actually. Well, let me see. On that side, yeah. yeah. And some weird stuff. But anyway, a uh, little Pontiac necklace top. <laughs> Just cheap. Uh, this is a punch out, I guess. I don't know. Bullet. I don't know how old that is, but I couldn't see nothing on the bottom. And then my huge uh, safety pin. That was different. I don't know what this is either. It's like brass or copper. So you got, um, see, it looks like it slides on and twists. I don't know 
what that would be for. Anybody got an idea? And I can't make out what that says. It's it's cheap. Big old chunk of lead. I don't know what that is. Big old chunk. And then the find of the day. I haven't tested it yet, but I am 99.9 .9 sure that that is silver. Come out of the ground like that. And I ain't been able to find no marks. But I got a testing kit that I will try. Maybe do an addendum to this video a little later. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching our channel, Family Treasures. There's one of my treasures right there. And she is going to be a mighty metal detector. She's got her own metal detector. And that's kind of the whole idea for our channel. Go out and have fun. Spend time together with family. All right, thank you. Hope you like our channel. Oh, if you do like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hit notifications. Have a great day. Bye.